All right, Dogs, Falco, Caleb, Wario. Yay, a real match. Bert, a real match. A real match, yay. <laughs> yay. Bert's not amused. Oh, right, this is Loser's Finals. I guess. It's, yeah, same thing. Because Lodo. And Dogs Dude. is... Dogs Dog is Falco. Falco. That was a throw? Uh, back, back throw. throw, yeah. Off the butt. I love Falco's forward smash. I like that down air. Grounded down air and forward smash. Yeah. Yeah, no one's no one played on the Dr. Mario stage. Wow, saved them. But then did if you use Falco's uh, special toward the edge of the stage, does it stop at the edge? If you're, on, if you're around? Yes, it. yes. So that would that work for the platform too, if you use it on a platform? I don't, I actually don't know about the platform. Okay, thanks. Flop. Flat's nice. If you're in the right. area, over. Right. Cool, that's cool. So you can use it, so theoretically it could be pretty good against someone. Someone like on the edge of the stage, if they like have to tech toward. Yeah. Uh, toward, and they're sort of near the edge, you can cover a lot, probably. You might be able to cover technical place in both roll. Yeah, Wario's uh, jab two is really good also. Cause it was that what that was? Yeah, his second jab just pops people up right in front of you. Oh, that seems like it sets up all those little weak nair fair combos of the, the special. Wow, up smash finish. Tower. Oh, that's cool. What is this? Tower? This is Tower of Heaven. It's from Rivals of Aether, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. I like the music in it. And I think it's really close to Dreamland, but obviously, like, the edges of the stage are different. Oh, it's from a game called Tower of Heaven? Oh, okay. That's good to know. Never heard of that game. I like the pixel art the background clouds. Oh, yeah, they look great. Oh, the, the plats are lower than Dreamland. Okay.
What's up, Vals? Val, I was talking about Vals last night with Ian. I like, like it. Yeah, we uh, we spent a lot of time time with Vals at SmashCon. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it was quite a night. That was definitely a night to remember, <laughs> or not to remember, depending. Yeah. <laughs> Juke assumed. Remember, like the next day, Max is just like, dude, you guys are insane. <laughs> <laughs> No, you wouldn't have remembered much. <laughs> Bowels. Yeah, Caleb's Wario movement is pretty slick. He's, he he has really good uh, air mobility. Wario does, so you can do you can really do a lot with him. I feel like see, seeing dogs go for a lot of like reverse. Dogs, you're in here now, right? So. It, what are you, you're looking, are you looking to get a lot of reverse fares to, to lead to something? Reverse fair off stage will lead to a down air pretty easily. Reverse fair. Oh god, is that be so bad? <laughs> Uh oh, the double. Let's see. Double wah. Wah. Dr. Mario stage? Glacial River? First destination? Is there a first destination? Yeah, you know like the desk at the beginning of the game? Yeah. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> Oh, we didn't get the Garuda Valley track this time. So what's this stage called? Ganon's Tower. Tower. This is interesting. Plats that. Yeah, I like the layout of the stage. The visuals throw me off, though. The background is too close. Too to close, the yeah. Yeah, Caleb Wario is legit. He, I mean, he got third in this tournament last week. Um, you know, like Jaime and Frey got first and second. So yeah, he's legit. He's beaten Blonde Kids Pika, Supus Falcon. <laughs> he's good. Um, this stage, I think the frame rate really got fixed on console. It's it's not that bad anymore. What stage? This stage. Oh, the frame rate was really bad on console. It wasn't great, but um, the dev team like found a feature in the stage builder, and they were able to reduce frame rates on a bunch of the custom stages. Like the Deku Tree stage used to be kind of laggy, also, but now it's just as good as Dreamland. Um, does an overclock console help? Yeah. And you have to have the ramp, the expansion pack for remix, right? Yeah, you do. It's a it's a pretty beefy game now. So what? Uh, why does it is it needed for the characters or just for? There's just so much stuff added. The game's bigger than 32. You know, 32 meg. Oh yeah, you should definitely play version 9.2. So, does anyone know, they sell uh, expansion, I, I, I think they sell like third party expansion yes, back. Yes, that's a they, thing. They, they work just as good? Or? I think so, yeah, Mad Cats makes one. Because I, I think I have an expansion pack in my N64, but I think it's a... Uh, I'm always tank. surprised at how many people don't have expansion packs. 
That happened at a few tournaments where like no one had one. Like in Japan, like no one had one. What games are required? Uh, like Donkey Kong 64, I think requires it. And then some games it like improves things like Perfect Dark, Gauntlet Legends. Like some games it improves some aspects. Turok 2. I forget all the different things, but not many like required it. Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, oh, there's a fan track on PlayStation 2. Ah, <laughs> oh, dogs. Yeah, Bracket got kind of jacked up, Ty Higgs. Majora's Mask, right. Perfect Dark required it? Okay. I don't know, but like no one, none of the Japanese players uh, had a console with an expansion pack, pretty much. Damn, 3 0. Oh, it was multiplayer, okay. That's kind of what Gone of the Legends was like. Like, if you wanted to play with four people, you needed it.